Hello guys if you want to watch this basketball in high quality click link in description below enjoy your time. Hello guys if you want to watch this basketball in high quality click link in description below enjoy your time. Hello guys if you want to watch this basketball in high quality click link in description below enjoy your time. Hello guys if you want to watch this basketball in high quality click link in description below enjoy your time. Hello guys if you want to watch this basketball in high quality click link in description below enjoy your time. The first half. We've already had one road team today win. It's Butler. Embiid into Gasol. And underneath, Simmons whacked at and foul. Green got him. And one thing you're starting to see Philly now, understanding we've got to attack them at the rim. Ibaka not out there, really the only shot blocker that Toronto has, and they can be hurt on the interior. Here's Ben Simmons at the free throw line. Tonight, 2-2 two two for both the field and the line, and he's got six. The 2019 NBA Awards presented by Kia return to TNT live from the historic Barker Hangar in Los Angeles. Monday, June 24th at 9 p.m. Eastern. Tune in to see who takes home the Kia NBA MVP. Sixers on a 6-0 run. I'll tell you what, they have gotten themselves back into this game and got to feel good about where they are. And also for Toronto, listen, both teams struggling to shoot the ball. But Leonard and Siakam have both been very impactful on the game. Quickly double. Green. Siakam. Shot clock down to five. And beat is there. Yeah. Okay, Embiid doesn't like the call, but. Siakam working hard there to try to get an opportunity up at the rim. That's a second personal foul on Joel Embiid, and Siakam will be at the free throw line. Pretty good last two games. Game six, Siakam had 21 points. Regular season, he averaged 17 a game. You see his numbers tonight. There's also uh, the very simple reason that one of these teams wins one game and the other team wins the other game and that simple reason is just better shooting because yeah. the team that has shot better <laughs> has won yeah and that's more so a byproduct of the team that didn't defend as well because those rhythm opportunities that we've seen by the home team typically has been the difference and we we're talking about siakam though how brilliant has he been on the season this guy the improvement he's made on both ends of the floor he is a potential budding superstar it's Embiid with this all right there double team Simmons shot clock at five it's Harris through traffic Embiid free the fake Gasol bites down Embiid three no good and a foul you, you hate to see that if you're Toronto with Gasol but Embiid great job with the pump fake got it off just in time Oh, he hit him on the head. That's what the call was. The fans don't like it, but it looked like he hit him on top of the head. One of the big issues, Greg, that Brett Brown has had to deal with for Philadelphia is how far will he extend the bench and who will be the backup center? We've seen Monroe. Scott has been in, but this is going to be a dilemma. They want to play and beat about as many minutes as they can as they're going to go and take a look at the replay. Yeah, it, it was above the head. And yes. time that happens, you're going to go look. I, I don't think there was any maliciousness involved. And, and, and it wasn't severe contact. But anytime you on shooters, if it's above the elbows, they typically are going to reward the shooter. But Brett was saying, I don't know if I'm going to go seven players deep or eight players deep is Gasol, former defensive player of the year. Yeah, I mean, it's an easy call. You hit him right on the head. It, it may not have warranted MB flailing and falling <laughs> but he definitely got hit on the head there were some amazing numbers about Embiid we told you the plus 40 in game six but Embiid 
when he plays well, they win. When he doesn't, they lose. He has played coming into tonight's Game 7, 192 minutes. And with Embiid on the floor, they are plus 80. When Embiid is off the floor, it's a completely different story. They are minus 97 points. Yeah, I mean, those are just unbelievable it, numbers. It, it, mind-boggling, really. <laughs> and, and, and keep in mind, it's not as if he has been terrific throughout. He has had his struggles in this series, but his importance and presence out on the floor because of what he does on both ends. So valuable for Philly. Joel Embiid, he has been sick as we know about. He was sick in the first series against Brooklyn, which the 76ers won. He's been sick in this series, upper respiratory problem. He has played, and his left knee continues to give him problems, and that may be a lifelong, career-long issue. Well, I, I think, and, and it will happen. He's still a young player, but he's going to have to make a commitment to his diet and to his body. And, and I think if he did, and a lot of young players are going through what he's going through. I mean, when you're a kid coming out of college, you may not have the best diet. And, and, and ultimately, though, as you mature, you understand the value of nutrition and conditioning. And I think with time, that's the area, and that should be his primary focus moving forward. Boy, if these teams are tied, it's not showing at the free throw line. Sixers 9 of 9 at the line. Raptors are 12 of 13. Still both shooting 33%, exactly each 33%. Screen for Leonard. Looking for Siakam, now he takes it himself. Leonard stuck on 13 points. Ennis with Lowry on him. Bad thumb and all. James Ennis up and down. And that was a strong move by Ennis there on the take. He has been terrific off the bench for Philly. Philadelphia has their second one-point lead tonight. And this time, the journeyman Ennis takes it in for two. You got to get the ball out of his hands. He's been... Uh, He's been going crazy this whole series. Uh, you know, I'd rather have someone else on the team beat us. Uh, no disrespect to them. Uh, they're all great players, but, you know, that's the guy that's been, you know, doing, like, uh, whatever he wants to the whole series. And, Greg, one of the subplots certainly here in Toronto regarding Kawhi Leonard is will he resign with Toronto or... Will he go? They can offer $50 million more than anyone else. And that is the $50 million question. <laughs> it right sure on. is. And the collective voice of Toronto will be waiting to find out what that answer is going to be. But more importantly right now, though, for Toronto, they got to get somebody else going offensively because you heard him be talking about it. They are running that second body at Kawhi, forcing somebody else to have to step up. And, <laughs> That's the matchup I thought we would see is putting Simmons on Gasol. If you're Toronto, you, you do got to explore that matchup on the low block. It's Green defending Simmons. It's out to a wide open to Paris Harris. That's a three. Well, what Philly's doing now is they're posting Embiid and Simmons, forcing Toronto to get into rotation, which gives you opportunities on the perimeter. Three by a bucket. So he matches the three at the other end. And now it is a 14 to 5 Philadelphia run. I'll tell you what, Ibaka has been terrific though. And I, and I like this move by Philly. Simplify the game. Harris again taking it inside. He just hit from three and he pulls the trigger on the fly off the baseline. Again, they post him B, force double, kick weak side, straight line drive from Tobias. That's going to be there. Lowry diving inside. Harris is nine, leading the 76ers. Butler, three. With a rebound by Danny Green. Does Lowry look right to you? No, that, that hand is bothering him. But you've got to figure out a way to just play through it. The beauty of his game is he doesn't have to score necessarily to be effective. Oh, he looked pretty good right there with that three. But it does help. <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half in the half. He ties the game at 39. It's time for the Hulu has live sports timeout.
All right, we're back here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony. First half thoughts and what you've seen. Uh, kind of what you expect. You know, both teams a little tight. You know, there's some anxiety out there. And then the physicality of a seven-game. Officials allowing these guys to play. So the field goal percentages haven't been there. But because of that familiarity, though, I think both teams now figuring out how they're going to be successful in the half court. I think you're going to see Philly with more posts from Simmons and Embiid. And when you look at Toronto, somebody other than Kawhi is going to have to look to score. Lowry hits that three. Ibaka's hit a three. Look for Siakam to be more aggressive offensively as well. Let's check in with Roz. Guys, Kyle Lowry hit a three, but I saw him grimacing in the huddle. He had sprained his left thumb in this him working with the staff on his right ring finger. They actually wrapped a red shoe.